Hello everyone, my name is Carl, and in this video I just want to quickly show you how you can add the side scroller camera as a child actor to your player um, and that will allow you to spawn your player using other spawn points and the camera will spawn with it and if you destroy the player the camera will be destroyed and not disconnected um, from the player. So to do this we must remove the camera that we connected to the player previously. You get a bunch of errors if you've already placed uh, actors, uh, external cameras in the world. Just click, click yes, and then you can just open your uh, the blueprint of your player, and you can either do this by going to the um, in your content browser and look for your player character and open that up, or if your player is already in the world, you can just click on the edit blueprint button next to the character. Cool. Uh, for my player, I'm just going to delete this. This isn't used. Don't worry about that. Cool. Now if you want to select the capsule component or the collision, whatever collision your player is using, then click on add component, search for child, click on child actor. I'm just call, going to call this camera. Now we go to actor class, search for advanced, and then add BP advanced side scroller cam. Now you'll see the child actor template over here. And then in setup, you can set up all these things like the uh, right direction, the camera settings and all those things you can set up and those will be saved uh, as default for this player or for this child actor in the player. Then. Cool, so let's click compile. Um, but now the player reference is not set in the camera blueprint. And that means the external cameras, when we try to move back to the move the camera back to the player, uh, those functions won't work properly. So to fix that, we need to, need to open up uh, the advanced side-scroller camera blueprint, go to the event begin play, uh, go to setup, player reference, just drag that onto this little arrow, and it'll add that in. Then we can drag off this little pin and search for get parent actor. There we go. Compile. And make sure this is the first node in the begin play string. Cool. Now if we hit play, everything should work as intended. You won't get any errors. And if you remove the player and put him back in, let's just look for demo. Mannequin, I think, character. No, nope. sorry, I forgot where the, oh, there we go, side scroller character. If you add that to our world now, it'll already have the uh, child actor uh, advanced side scroller camera attached. So now you have to do anything. Oops, except possess the player. Possess player. There we go. And all your settings will go with you. Like if you um, destroy the player when he dies, and you respawn the player, it should, everything, or, or that the camera should reconnect automatically and all your settings should be intact. Cool. This is just a quick video to show you how to do that, and I hope this helps.